What about this? Bugs Bunny and Lola from Space Jam. Maybe. I feel like we could be more original, though. Uh, mm. Ooh, what if we go as each other? That'd be funny. Yeah, you go as me, and I'll go as the guy who can't stop whining about season 8 of Game of Thrones. Okay, whatever. I wasn't gonna wear Birkenstocks to a Halloween party anyways. Um, what about Jim and Pam? Mm, I, that's overdone. Maybe we can be Jim and Karen. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't? Oh, maybe you could be Jim and I could be someone who's not crazy about The Office. Okay, but no one's gonna get that. How about Pete and Ariana Grande? Babe, they broke up. Really? Yeah. Babe, sometimes you are so clueless. Oh, what about Forrest Gump and Jenny? Or you could be Forrest Gump and I'll be his dead mom. Babe, you are so weird sometimes. How about orange juice and toothpaste? I don't get it. I feel like it describes us as a couple. How? You know, toothpaste, orange juice, they don't really go together. But we do. How about the rat from Ratatouille and an exterminator? Okay. That one's actually kind of funny. You know what? We could do Game of Thrones if you want. I'll be the Dragon Queen, and you can be that guy who... What, like, he gets sent away, like, three times, he keeps coming back, trying to confess his love to her, he doesn't take the hint. That still makes no sense. Does anything make sense? Do we make sense? See? It works. Mm, I don't know. Um, you could be Woody from Toy Story, and I'll be the girl that gets tired of all her toys. Babe, I think you're remembering the wrong movie. Gordon Ramsay and an undercooked steak, Princess Diana and a cab driver, Ryan Reynolds and the Green Lantern, a Catholic priest and an adult woman, Logan Paul and the entire country of Japan, Bear Girls and not drinking his piss, Al Capone and syphilis, Helen Keller and a jigsaw puzzle, Blackbeard and a Gillette razor. Babe, you are awful at this. All right, how about this? You be my ex-boyfriend and I'll be happy. Oh, what? live from Studio B. As you can see, this is our Halloween episode. By the way, I'm Annika. And I'm your co-host, Hayden. And uh, I'm a drunk princess. And I am Marty McFly. We didn't coordinate this. We should have. We have writers who are supposed to do that job. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, so since it is the Halloween season and candy's really expensive, we're gonna go into the types of personas you can take on if you run out of candy. So these, yeah. <laughs> Bummers. Yeah. Uh, number one, the Bible verse guy. Oh, Luke 4.16 for you, Psalms 25 for you, and Leviticus 21 for you. That's a fun one. It's about how deformed people don't get into heaven. <laughs> the crazy old veteran. Here, kids, these are bullets I shot into the soft flesh of the Viet Cong. <laughs> the guy who used to have a kid. You remind me of Kevin. <laughs> huh. The mother who, you, who is, you know, too proud of her son. I don't have to buy candy, but my son runs a corner store. He tells me he's always, you know, moving product on the corner. Down on the corner, he's moving product. He's a businessman. The, uh, the costume critic, 
Oh, I see we tried to go homemade this year. <laughs> the my days are numbered guy. Candy, what's the point? Oh, he's sad. <laughs> he's sad. The college student who could have sworn it was going to be the pizza guy this time. Oh, you guys aren't. Hey, you guys want a beer? <laughs> the, reverse, the reverse Mormon. You come to me now. Hello. <laughs> and that's it for uh, Out of Candy Personalities. <laughs> Now, for our next segment, we wanted to take some time to talk about what a stupid name Hayden Broom is. What? No. <laughs> Sorry, that can't, that can't be right. Yep, we wanted to do a full breakdown in this next segment of our 10 worst people on Syracuse's campus. Here's a hint. The top five are all Hayden. What? <laughs> no, what's, what's wrong with these cue cards? Why, why does this one say I look like a virgin? <gasps> Whoa, dude, how do they know? Shut up. <laughs> Not a virgin. Oh, and um, you know, the next um, critiques your personality. Um, it's like, you know, the bad episode of Full House. They're all bad episodes. <laughs> Full House is a bad show. Rodney, what's happening? Get out here, explain yourself. Get up here. Okay, everyone, I'm not please having welcome this. our head cue card guy, Rodney. <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, hey, Annika. Hey, Hi. Backstabber. Rodney, what the hell, man? What, hey, what did I do to you? <sighs> okay, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Rodney, Studio B's cue card guy. Everything this girl and this human waste of space <laughs> from Texas say you. is I'll because of me. But last week, I heard Hayden K. Broom, that's actually his middle initial, <laughs> ask about getting a teleprompter. So that's what this is all about. <sighs> Hayden, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, I, I guess I'd say I never should have done that. You're superior and I quit. Hayden, <laughs> stop reading off the cue cards. Rodney obviously oh, wrote that. Yeah, sorry, sorry, had to get it back. Uh, yeah, well, Rodney, I'm sorry, but the teleprompter, it just makes more sense. The times are changing and you're, well, you're obsolete. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Hayden. You college kids and your technology. You <laughs> youngsters love it. Rodney, you're a junior. Annika, you age three times as fast when you're slinging cue cards. <laughs> I've seen it all. Every word I've written it, all 145 of them. And I'm telling you, when your fancy new solar powered teleprompter. It's not solar powered. I, realizes I that this room doesn't have windows, it's gonna be curtains for you, Broom. Are we finally closing the show with curtains? No, we're not doing curtains. Rodney, I'm sorry. I, I truly never meant to offend you. I, I would want you to run the teleprompter. Oh, well, Hayden, that's a hell of a gesture, and I respect you and your family. But, uh, you're, but I think that your mother was right about you. What, He's a when, when did you, shut, I'm not a virgin. <laughs> when did you talk to Ellen? You're always trying to innovate the stuff around you. But maybe you should take a look in the mirror. I don't think you'll like what you see. Oh. Whoa. You're a dick. This just got really deep for this comedy. Okay, um, you guys have to, you know, work this out. Okay, Rodney. Here, I'm gonna stop asking about getting a teleprompter, okay? Thank you, Hayden. You know what? Hey, let's have a great show. Okay. I can finally go back to my cue cards now. And that's Rodney the cue card guy, everyone. He's my new father. Oh, I see you put one more joke in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, a Rodney, joke. everyone. <laughs> so, Rod Rodney, go. And like that, he's, and in the blink of an eye, he's gone. <laughs> anyway, uh, the world is turning, surprisingly. It's, it's, I don't know how we're not all dead and on fire, but uh, we're gonna get into the news and discuss it. Um, Lady Gaga, you know, she hit the ground hard after being dropped by a fan during her performance. When asked about the experience, Miss Gaga said she feared she ba 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 broke her face, ba ba broke her face. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. <laughs> Anti vaccination groups have raised over $27,000 over the last six months, and at least they're raising something that isn't going to die after age two. <laughs> 
vaping devices test positive for methamphetamine at a high school in Utah. School officials are worried this will be a gateway drug to caffeine, dancing, and snapback hats. Scandalous. <laughs> ABC apologizes for mistaking Ken a Kentucky gun range video for a Turkish bombing. And I would like to apologize to the group of children playing with Nerf guns on my street whom I mistook for an elite team of little person assassins. <laughs> a Fort Worth police officer has been charged with murder after opening fire and killing a woman inside of her home. Before being charged, the officer agreed to, I mean, um, <laughs> to resign. Uh, Texas jokes. <laughs> a recent Wheel of Fortune contestant says, I've been trapped in a loveless marriage for the last 12 years to an old battle axe named Kim. Pat, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Shotgun wedding. <laughs> a mother in Georgia claims that a man shot her one-year-old daughter after a car accident. The man was found innocent based on the standard playground laws. <laughs> Blizzard Games banned a pro esports player from tournaments due to his support of Hong Kong. This is either suppression of activist voices from a company that doesn't want to lose business, or they just don't want nerds being a part of the cause. <laughs> Signs reading Free Hong Kong were confiscated at a Washington Wizards basketball game. That's ridiculous. What's wrong with inexpensive trips to China? <laughs> An oxygen-dependent California man died 12 minutes after PG&E cut off power to his home. Wait, aren't all men in California oxygen-dependent? That's right. People got to breathe. Uh, a new trial vaccine managed to wipe out breast cancer in a Florida patient. A trial vaccine? Better unsubscribe before it starts charging me. <laughs> The author of Nobody Died at Sandy Hook has been ordered to pay a victim's father for, def for defamation. He's already starting to work on his next book, Hurricane Maria was just kite flying weather. <laughs> <laughs> a heat seeking drone found a missing six year old boy from Minnesota in a cornfield and then it absolutely eviscerated him. Another successful test. <laughs> All right, so this is what happened this week. Um, now we're going to cut to commercial, so stay tuned. We'll see you in a little bit. See you guys later. We thrive in green spaces. Here, we know gray most definitely matters. Even in whiteout conditions, we make things clear and sometimes strike gold. We see the world as it could be. We see the world in color. And at Syracuse University, all we see is orange. What's good, fam? My name's Brett. You might know me as Mr. Brett-tastic on YouTube. I like to make prank videos, take my shirt off, and I'm legally not allowed into Denmark. Let's go check it out. Hear the desperate spirits, each one crying out for the second death, enter the abyss all. Sick! Alright, squad! Let's check out my crib! Alright, so, a little bit of background here. Uh, my crib was built around 1660s, uh, and the local tales say that this is where witches came to party and sacrifice their victims. Oh yeah! So, this is the living room where I like to entertain my guests. And, uh, fun fact, the price for this bachelor pad was my earthly free will. Isn't that right? Alright, so this net... Oh yeah, this little dude just like showed up one day and he, he kind of just walks through walls and screams and whatnot. I don't question it though. You keep doing you little homie. So in this room, uh, we just do some casual reading. Uh, you know, the obituary spells or whatever. Kind of boring. But let's check out my kitchen, or as the spirits like to call it, 
Concutus Porta Inferni, which I think is Spanish for grub. Alright, so uh, in this drawer, this is where we keep uh, the knives. Uh, but in this drawer, we actually have more knives. But, however, for me, uh, if you need, in this drawer right here, uh, this is where we keep the spoons. Uh, they're just really dull knives, so you don't cut yourself on them. I have no idea where they come from. Okay, so here we have the attic, and this is where... Oh, what's up, Karen? <laughs> what a goof. All right, anyways, why don't we go downstairs and check out the basement. Down here, we have the basement. Uh, you know, it's kind of like an extra room. You could use it maybe a guest room or for hanging out. Uh, over there, we got some festive Christmas lights. Down here, we also have uh, the shower. This is where we come to wash up. And this shower actually holds the souls of the dam. Uh, so I come down here a lot when, when I'm feeling lonely. from the Garden of Eden. Uh, it just levitates sometimes. Biblical! Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the bedroom. And oh, uh, looks like that's my cue. Sorry, it's been great hanging with you guys, uh, but I exchanged my mortal soul, and in return, Drake retweeted me. Uh, so I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Welcome back. So our next guest has both a harrowing story and a plea to all um, that are watching. So make sure you give him a big round of applause. He's been through a lot. Welcome, Matt. Thank you. I am so happy to be on the show. I just wish it were under better circumstances. Oh, yeah, I understand. So Matt, why don't you tell our viewers exactly why you're here today? The story is, it's just so, so moving, so, I know. so brave. That means a lot, coming from a virgin from the Lone Star State. Not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden, Annika, viewers, I'm sharing my story so that you don't have to. Well, people should still be able to so share their stories. it was about a week ago, and there was a kidnapping. No! I'm so sorry. Yeah. Completely neglected by DPS, so I came to the next best thing. The cops? A live talk show. Oh. <laughs> How has this kidnapping affected your everyday lifestyle and personality? Oh, I think about it at least twice a week. <laughs> Sometimes, it still feels like she's there right with me. Oh, that's truly awful. I just miss her comfort, her warmth. They were very close. You must miss wearing her, Matt. Wearing? Yeah. <laughs> Towards the end, I really wore her out. That's right, he did. Well, Matt, we've got some incredible news. We've actually got her here with us today. Do you guys want to see her? <laughs> we found her? We really are the next best thing to DPS. Come on out! <laughs> is that... Is that her? You! You took what? my sweat! That's my sweatshirt! Give me the stop, stop! Stop! Guys! Guys! Ladies and gentlemen, Lily is here with Matt's sweatshirt. He claims she kidnapped it. Let's hear her side of the story. You've got to be kidding me. Wait, so you're saying that the sweatshirt... It was the Friday after last. So this Friday. So it was this Friday. Oh, I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, anyway, it was last Friday, and I had just been tested for STIs. And it came back negative, so I took advantage of the bookstore deal with the STI-free 69% off coupon. Ah, oh, I um, love it. 69% off. <laughs> yeah, so I walked through the bookstore, browsed through all the orange lanyards, and then I saw the sweatshirt, or 
It's not me. <laughs> so, Lily, you're saying that's not Matt Sweatshirt? Wow! Stuff just got way crazier, folks. <laughs> crazier than we Fine. when we thought an actual person had been kidnapped. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, for starters, I know that's my sweatshirt. It has that stain no. on it from when my cat gave birth. Um, no. I got that when I snuck into Nickelodeon Studios and slimed myself. This week, I travel. Well, luckily we had our team investigate and we have the results as to who the true owner of the sweatshirt is. Ready? Oh, you have a... The answer. Great. Matt, what, what, what? you are not the owner. Yes! I knew it! You were me! That's right. Yeah. But, but... Is she gone? Am I gonna have to wear my hoodie? He's on the ground now. What is he doing? It was what is happening? Matt, it was a close call, but after breaking into your room, tying up your roommate, and also searching all of the premises, we discovered that your sweatshirt is in the bottom drawer. Wait, 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 wait. but that's where I also keep my... Yeah, unfortunately we saw that too. <laughs> so are we gonna give him back his sweatshirt? Not only did we find your sweatshirt, but we actually have it here today. <laughs> Bianca! Wow, that really is a heartwarming story. Oh, that's a cool stain. Um, before you go, <laughs> Anything you have to say for yourself, Matt? Yes. Actually, I took my little brother to a party during Parents Weekend, and he got off the leash. So if any of you no, have... No, that's all the time we have for you today. We're going to cut to commercial. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> Through blue sky thinking, we thrive in green spaces. Here, we know gray most definitely matters. Even in whiteout conditions, we make things clear and sometimes strike gold. We see the world as it could be. We see the world in color. And at Syracuse University, all we see is orange. good friend Michael Larkin mm. at University <laughs> Union. You're the executive director of arts? I'm the performing arts director. Performing arts director. He's also my roommate, which yeah. is a fun fact, and he leaves his door open. All so, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go into the questions that we have to ask you really quickly, Michael. Mm. Um, first off, tell us about uh, University Union and, sorry, we need to introduce the event. Mm. Ryan O'Connell is coming here <laughs> this Tuesday, and that's why Michael's here. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're, yeah. Yes. Such an amazing guy. So tell us about University Union and the other groups putting on this event. Um, so University Union is putting on this event with the DCC, the Disability Cultural Center, and the LGBT Resource Center um, in hopes of creating a wider dialogue on campus. Uh, Ryan O'Connell is the maker of um, Special, which is a Netflix show. He's also a writer for Will and Grace, so he's a pretty cool guy. Oh, amazing, yeah. So you basically kind of answered my question a little bit of, um, you know, who's Ryan O'Connell yeah. o o and um, can you give more details about what his show is mainly about? Yep, Ryan O'Connell has a memoir that he wrote. Um, he is gay, he has cerebral palsy, so this is sort of a memoir about him, um, you know, finding himself. He's a writer in Hollywood, so it's a little um, autobiographical, so the show follows that. It's a comedy. Right on. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that sounds so cool. What can we expect from uh, his show on Tuesday? Um, on Tuesday, he's doing a moderated discussion with uh, one of our law students here who's affiliated with the Disability Cultural Center. Um, so we're going to be talking about his show, um, living with cerebral palsy, working in Hollywood, being gay. Um, it's going to be a good show. He's a funny guy, so we're expecting a lot. Amazing. Awesome. So what is being done to make this event accessible to everybody? Um, we have... ASL interpreters coming, we have cart services, which is when they like type up the words, um, and you can see them on the stage, we have accessible seating. Um, anybody that needs special accommodations, we're always willing to help, so we like to make it an accessible space, all of our shows. Awesome. Thank you so much. So we're actually going to play a little game now. Oh. And, um, you know, we're going to ask, it's Mad Libs, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's Mad Libs. Yeah, so we're going to ask, you know, 
noun, verb, whatever. Okay. You're going to give us whatever that is, and then we're going to read the sentence to you. So and it's basically Ryan yeah, O'Connell tweets. Ryan O'Connell tweets. <laughs> this is going to be entertaining. Okay, so first give me a noun. Dog. Okay. Are the people that use dogs okay? <laughs> <laughs> and the original tweet is Are the people that use Facebook okay? I need a place and a noun. Syracuse. Um, man. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that in Syracuse, having a man is actually considered offensive? <laughs> and you may be asked to leave. <laughs> it's true. Uh, <laughs> that, that's the original. The original is uh, living in LA, a job is actually considered offensive. And you may be asked to leave, which is true. <laughs> okay, now I need an app and a body part. Tinder. Ew. Leg. Ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tinder is a great place to showcase your leg next to your bitterness. <laughs> and the original one was Grinder is a great place to showcase your abs next to your bitterness. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need a plural noun. People? Oh, you're writing it People. Down. Yeah. This is a lot. An adjective noun? What does that mean? I, I don't know. I didn't do well in English. Oh, an adjective <laughs> and a noun. Um, red? Red. Boy. Boy. <laughs> and finally, um, singular form of a plural noun. Dude, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, dog. Dog. Yeah, I'm gonna... All right. And then, so here we go. So do you think people wear people to cover up their mm. red, red boy? Because <laughs> everyone I've ever met who wears dog has a <laughs> red boy. And, <laughs> The original tweet is, do you think people who wear hats to cover up their bad, their bad personality because everyone I've met who wears a hat has a bad personality? That's true. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Next one. Okay, um, so I need an adjective, an adjective, a number, and a plural noun. Do you want me to, like, mm -hmm. slow I, I and steady with the race? Um, slow? Is that an adjective? Yeah. Yes. Uh, fast? Oh. 12? Okay. Cats? Yes. Here we go. Last night, I made the slow. Mm. And some may say, fast choice to order 12 cats at dinner. Here we go. Um, the original one was, last night, I made the wild, and some would say, disturbing choice to order two different pasta entrees at dinner. Awesome. So these are actually all the uh, all the Mad Libs. Uh, thank you for doing the Mad Libs with us with the Ryan yeah. O'Connell tweets, everyone. Thank you, Michael awesome. Larkin, for thank being you. here. Do you want and to quickly plug yourself yeah, really plug fast? Plug yourself. Plug the event. Plug the Myself. event. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, so the event yeah. is going to be on Tuesday night at 7:30 in Goldstein Auditorium. Tickets are free. You can get them online. Right on. Yeah. Perfect. Tickets are free. Come see Ryan O'Connell and make sure to watch his show on Netflix. What's mm -hmm. the show called again? Special. Special. <laughs> Special on Netflix. Make yeah. sure to check that out. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Michael. Everyone, let's give a big hand for Michael Larkin. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching our show today. Um, and we'll see you next, you know, yeah. not this Thanks, guys. next Sunday, but the Sunday after that. Make sure to have a <laughs> It's one line. Um, and then we are running a special right now on our uh, team player package. This one is not not fatal, um, but we can guarantee heavy. <laughs> I saw you go. <laughs> this one's not. <laughs>